Hey guys, what's up? And in this video, I'm gonna show you my creepy pasta. Let's start. So I was with my mom one day watching TV until we found a show. I didn't know what it was called, but I remember it was a good show. I asked my mom, do you remember that show? She said yes, but I gotta tell you what actually happened. One Saturday afternoon, we were watching TV until we stumbled upon a show. We didn't know what it's called, but we just called it the show. The show was about these puppets learning about everyday things. But the puppets looked weird and creepy. They had human-like teeth and their eyes were bloodshot. This should not be in a kid's show, but my son liked it. He got a nightmare about the show. He dreamed that he woke up and went downstairs to see the TV on with the characters from the show with black eyes and sharp teeth. They told him to come join us. He said, heck no, until they were yelling and commanding him to go with him. They screamed and that's when he woke up. I thought of it as a normal nightmare, especially for his age. I noticed he's not getting up. He has been watching too much of the show. One day I told him to get off the show. Then he grabbed me and said in a demonic voice, No. I got concerned, but I thought of it as one of my hallucinations. And a day later, I went to check on him. I was gonna see him, but when I went to his door, and before I opened it, I heard him talking to himself. But then I noticed there's another voice getting mad and angry, and I screamed for my own child. I ran in, in the room. I asked, what happened? He said, a kid got mad at me and threatened to kill me. I paused. Then, I heard a kid run through the hall. While that, his wardrobe was, was vibrating and almost fell on him. Now, I gotta do something about it. I called my friend. My friend is a spiritual type. She believes in the supernatural. She also knows how to make bad demons go away. When I called her, my son started was speaking in Latin. My friend translated it. He said, I'm gonna kill everyone I see. When she came, she felt bad energy. She was scared but brave. She bring a Ouija board. We placed it on the coffee table and started to play. Anyone here? A painting fell on the floor. What do you want? The TV turns on and the puppets with black eyes and rows of sharp teeth say, we want your son. They repeat it over and over again. My friend says, Leave this poor family alone, you demons. The TV falls and these puppets came out of the TV. I ran, but a bunch of little hands grabbed my leg. And I saw the creepy face of one of the puppet demons. I screamed and tried to get my leg out. I got it out, but something threw me across the room and I hit the wall. Then I heard my son saying, No, I don't want to go with you. There's silence for a few seconds. And BAM! 
My son was crying upstairs, and I saw the room torn up with drawings and pillows. It was a mess, but I heard crying, and I saw him levitating from the ground. My friend ran upstairs in time to see him fall on the floor. We both made sure he was fine. I carried him downstairs. I looked behind me, and I saw a black figure charging at us. We hit the TV with hammers, and my son was. Crying with demons slowly turning into dust. Once the demons turned into dust and the TV was broken, we couldn't use the TV for three months. Once we got a new one, my friend had to check if it was safe to get it. Ask my, I asked her. What would have happened if we couldn't save my son? She said those demons were gonna bring him into their dimension and trap him forever. I still think those demons are out there targeting young children. But now I realize I forgot to say goodbye for my Ouija board.